Let's go, girls. This is every girl's and guys playground in here. That's right. This is Fiona, by the way. Fiona. This is Fiona. She has her own name because she's very grand and takes up a lot of space. I hear this is 4,000 yards of thread. Thread. And all this tooling is all hand layered. And how she's just so gorgeous. Man, I feel like a woman. You end the show with a bang. With this with a bang. I love the magic of fashion. Whenever I work with the designer, they always have to be open to allowing me to re either structure or redesign certain things, so it's very, very custom. That don't embrace me much. How would you describe your time in Vegas? It's very diverse. It's not just all about the show. I get to live a real lifestyle here, out in the desert. I love the restaurants when I don't have show nights. I love taking in other shows like Katy Perry. Oh, that's what you get for waking up in Vegas. How emotional is saying goodbye to this residency? <laughs> yeah. Aww. That's, I do feel, I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. I, I will miss it. All I can do is plan to come back. Are there plans to return to Sin City? We don't have any plans right now, so um, we just have to go with the flow and, you know, see how things work. For now, the five-time Grammy winner has been working on new music. Her new single, Waking Up Dreaming, is out now. So let's keep waking up dreaming. This is about the tempo. It's, it's like, it's engraved in my brain. <laughs> I had so much fun making this album. I enjoy Dreaming. I enjoy getting lost in my dreams and escaping in them day or night. So I wrote this song about, listen, when you wake up, it's all, the dream begins. Let it happen. So when I think about a new tour coming up and I think about getting up there with new uh, music, I really do want it to be music that will slip in with my other kick-ass music. What do we have to do to get you and Harry Styles to do an official duet? I know. We just have to ask. I haven't ever asked him, so I expect him to say yes. Shania, who is the best-selling female country artist of all time, has had her share of personal struggles, including an abusive childhood, a battle with Lyme disease, and a very public divorce, which she opens up about in the Netflix documentary, Not Just a Girl, out now. I wanted to share things that I knew that other people may not know about me that would make it interesting. How did music heal you through those darkest hours? Well. You know, music healing me has come right from the very beginning in my childhood. When I needed to escape, um, there's no dinner in the house. I'm hungry. I, I gotta, I gotta change my mind, mind over matter. Grab my guitar, go out in the bush, and just write music till it's time for bed. If there was violence in the house, same thing. Music was that escape. Life's about, life's about to get good. When will you know it's time to take a step back away from music? There has always been a time for change. I'm too energetic to be idle from being creative. But there's always something I've never done before. But what is on the bucket list for Shania Twain? I constantly dream of a Las Vegas equestrian spectacle, all with Shania Twain music and me and horses. <laughs>